hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is one i have always wanted to film this is one of my favorite videos to watch um so today's video is going to be a what's in my hospital bag video but what i will go over are the general things that i think are important to have um when you are having a uh, vaginal delivery i can't really speak um, on a cesarean because I haven't had one but from what I understand you need a lot of the same things so I'll mention I am 36 weeks and four days pregnant um, there's talk of inducing me at 38 maybe even 37 weeks so I really only have potentially another week maybe only a few days to go um, so let's start with my stuff so I use just you can't really well yeah you can I use like a carry-on size bag for myself I initially thought I'd put my husband's stuff in here too but I can already tell that's not gonna happen he can just pack his own stuff that's fine so let's get started so things for myself one thing that you will always see talked about in these videos are a pair of slippers I'm not a huge slipper person mostly because I run really warm like I'm not I'm not one that likes to be like really bundled up and cozy um because well for one I live in Queensland it's very hot here um but I do find hospitals cold and I do find um the whole process of giving birth or anything medical really can can make you really um like shivery and just like a a really intense cold like you can't warm up I think maybe that's shock or something but I like to have slippers also obviously to keep your feet off the hospital ground which is good um, I'm, an, I'm not a sock person I don't like socks so these are good to just slip on if I need to uh, go to the washroom or go down and get some water or whatever um, I'll also be bringing a pair of just like flip-flop sandals for in the shower um, so I've bought just a few pairs of comfy um, like pajama type lounge clothes. I, in every delivery, I have bought myself a couple new things. I just think it's like a really nice luxury and just a, a reward for yourself. And there's nothing, there's something about it if you've, if you've had a baby, there's something about after it's over the relief you feel the love you feel to have that first shower and just put on like a fresh pair of pajamas like it's just i find it really comforting i i personally like the whole um like time in the hospital after all the hard stuff is over um so i got from cotton on i got this these they look huge they're an extra large but I want them comfortable so I got a long pair of pants and then this is like a matching t-shirt so like just stuff like this it's totally simple really basic but it's brand new and soft and will just feel so good when you put it on I want to tell you what it's made out of it didn't, oh it's just viscose and elasticine but it's it's so soft really really soft and then so that's one set from the same line, Recovery from Cotton On, I got these shorts, also in an extra large. I actually got two pairs of these just because they were, uh, my sister, no, my mom bought them for me. They were on clearance and we found two in my size, so we just grabbed them. And then this top that goes with that is actually a um, nursing top, which is really nice. So it where is it this side it's the style that like comes up like this um and then i brought this which is just like an oversized um tie-dye t-shirt so it's kind of, it's like a nighty like it's just a long long t-shirt so that should do me in terms of um comfortable clothes now this so then also what you will want is a decent outfit to come home in it all depends on you if you um, are coming home to a house full of people or you're coming home to some sort of party i suppose you won't it's unlikely this year you'll be doing that 
um, but it all depends. So um, I just like to look kind of nice, you know, like presentable. And this outfit could also double if anyone is visiting us in the hospital and I wanna feel a bit less pajama-y. But again, it's also just a lounge set because that's what everyone's about this year. So this one is from Kukai. It's a really nice like waffle fabric. It's just a plain black t-shirt in this. You would have to really feel this fabric to under. Yeah, it's like a waffle. So a t-shirt and then these really nice um, like track pants that have just a really nice shape to them. So that will likely be the outfit I come home in or or throw on if anyone's visiting. So the next thing that is key and you will always hear mentioned in these videos is a robe. Um, again, I run warm. I am not somebody that likes a big, like teddy bear style robe. This one is from Calvin Klein. It's like a soft pink. Um, it's not super long, really soft. And yeah, that's brand new too. Everything's brand new. I've just pulled tags. All that stuff I just showed you is brand new. I've just taken tags off it. So a robe, you want a robe. What's next? I've got my hairbrush with two scrunchies. Scrunchies, key, very key. I pretty much only use scrunchies now because they're so comfortable and I have very heavy hair. So you want scrunchies or hair ties, um, 100%. That's like so obvious. Who would ever labor with their hair down? That's like psychotic behavior. <laughs> so scrunchies and hairbrush. Okay, also for me, I've got myself some snacks. Now, I've never really had a labor where I've got to utilize snacks because I've always been um, in like a wild state of labor or have had an, an epidural where you can't eat. And then I've got two Cliff Bars. I keep eyeing these because they're in my room, like in my suitcase, and I keep wanting to eat them because I don't buy stuff like this. So two Cliff Bars and two Kind Bars. So yeah, that's just when I'm starving and I don't want to spend, you know, $10 on a muffin or something. Okay, so that's snacks. I will also be bringing um, energy drinks for my husband and I'll be bringing Gatorade for both him and I. I drink the sugar-free one and he drinks the regular one. So I'll be, drinking, I'll be bringing both of those. Um, also something I don't have right here that I just thought of is my Yeti. Um, so my insulated cup, I will be bringing that for water as well. So this I got in hopes, prayers, that I can have like a nice, I can have an epidural early and I can have enough mindset to put this on and not be completely nude so that we can um, maybe get a little bit of footage and remember it. So this is a bralette from Spell. It's brand new. And this is, um, it's probably a double XL. One thing I love about Spell is they make stuff, they their sizes are really inclusive. So I got that and then you're gonna want really full bum, like grandma, kind of underwear. I shouldn't even say grandma because to be honest guys, these are the kind of underwear I wear. <laughs> so I guess I'm a grandma now. I like never went back after having my first child. I never went back to like cute um, undergarments. So these are from Bonds. They're just, um, these are all brand new, so don't be grossed out. Um, they're high-waisted, really nice quite big so those are from bonds I got three pairs of those um, then I've got it's probably more than I need but I've got three um, reusable um, breast pads so and it might not be necessary because oftentimes your milk doesn't come in for a few days like doesn't fully come in um, come in to the point where you are leaking um, but I brought three just in case I bet I'll only need maybe one on like the last day. But I really, I would recommend these. I don't like the disposable ones. I think they're itchy and awful, obviously bad for the environment. You can buy these um, all over the place. So I actually don't exactly remember. I'll look it up and I will um, put it in the drop down below. But so many 
you know, small businesses make these and it's really nice to support them. And they're so much more comfortable. But, uh, so you will, you're obviously gonna have a lot of bleeding um, regardless of what kind of delivery you have, even if you have a C-section. So I've heard there's still a lot of bleeding. Um, with my daughter, it went on for, I want to say months. Um, her delivery was harder. Uh, I had a forcep delivery and the recovery was pretty rough. And then with my son, it happened very quickly and my recovery wasn't too bad. I maybe only had bleeding for a few weeks, maximum, maximum a month. But my daughter, I wanna say it was like a good three months. So this is something I recommend to all my friends having babies um, and they are Depends or any sort of similar product. I think like Always makes them um, things like that. So these are uh, three-in-one protection, super underwear with the max absorbency. I got a size large um, and it comes with eight. So these are full underwear. So in my opinion, it's just the easiest way to go. So if they fit you nicely, all you have to do is put these on and then that's it. As opposed to um, the mesh underwear from the hospital or your own underwear and then adding a pad, adding another. So when these run out, um, if they do, so like I said, there's eight. Really depends how long I'm in the hospital for. Um, but, oh my God. He's good, he found his dummy. Um, so when I run out of these. <laughs> okay, I've also got um, some of these um, pads. These are by Tom Organic. Um, they're quite big, so I've got uh, five of those. I can almost guarantee I'll regret not bringing more of these, but we'll see. I also brought these, which I thought were really interesting. I had never seen these before. Um, they are by Honey Pot. I had to order these online. Um, they say they're herbal infused pads with wings. They have mint for cooling, lavender for calming, and aloe for soothing. So that sounds really, really nice. Um, but when I opened them, I noticed they're they're quite small. They're they're really not like. A postpartum pad they're um well they say yeah I don't know they're they're nothing like this they're quite thin so I'm gonna bring those as well um and we'll see how those go I thought maybe because of the um like essential oils even one of these layered on top of something else might be nice so that this is another thing this is a new another new product for me, um, I have used just like regular ice packs before. I've made the padsicles before, but this is by Body Ice Women and it's a per perineum strip. I think I say that wrong, perineum. So it's like this, um, you get the gist, it goes in like this. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna bring that, that's really cool. And then it comes with um, like sleeves. So you can put a sleeve in it because obviously this on its own would be very cold the only thing i'm wondering about this is how i'll get it frozen so i'll have to maybe ask an, uh, a midwife to put it in a freezer for me because from what i remember there's no it's not like there's a mini fridge in your hospital room that i remember uh, another one more thing postpartum that i really found helpful someone recommended these in my first pregnancy um, also had to order them online are tux pads so these are also just soothing medicated cooling pads and they have um, mainly witch hazel I think so these are also nice if you have a rough recovery like I did with my first to sort of layer these on top of a pad um, or even to use them for gently cleaning when you get to that 
So I think that's it in terms of postpartum uh, nipple cream. I've always used this one, the Lanisil. Um, It's a good one. That's something I, I won't necessarily need it in the hospital, but I'm bringing it just in case. I'm bringing myself a brand new Burt's Bees. This is my um, tried and true lip balm. Always, always have one of these on hand. I will likely also have one in my purse, but this one just in case. I've got that. I have a little hand sanitizer. I'm clearly having trouble focusing stuff. So that's a little hand sanitizer, just my usual face products. I use the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid and the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors. Um, these are kind of everyday things for me, so they will go in my bag last minute. I've just got it here to show you. It's another sort of vanity type thing. Um, these new face cleansing wipes, half uh, prep and glow they're called. Half is a cleansing, just like a regular makeup wipe and the other side is an exfoliating, like it's um, bumpy, like exfoliating. And it just feels really, really nice. So as opposed to, you know, trying to lean over the sink um, with face soap or whatever, I really like these for taking off makeup or even just giving your face a little refresh. Um, and then I brought these. Um, I brought two of these, these uh, Patchology um, under eye pads, under eye gels. Um, not to try to look beautiful, but they're really cooling and I find when I'm really tired or feeling really puffy, they just feel nice and I have time, you know, I'm going to have time away from my other kids, which I don't normally have a lot of time sitting down where I can, you know, treat myself and do stuff like that. So then I've also got just shampoo side or um, hotel shampoo. Another thing is my, I use the intuition uh, razor that has like the head that has soap around it already i've used this since high school um so last minute i will throw in the actual um handle part and then i have a fresh one of these this is very important stool softener so i brought the coloxal you can see I, it's already open i've already broken into it um this I don't know that I knew to do this with my first, but I read about it with my second. So pretty much right after you give birth, if you think of it, ask your partner to remind you, just take a couple stool softeners um, just to make that first trip to the bathroom easier. Um, I've never had a terrible experience. Some people think it's the most awful thing in the world, but it really depends. So take a stool softener, it will help. And then in here, I just have all my really basic makeup this again will not be staying here um, because i use this pretty much every day but what you'd want to have not too much stuff um this is bare minerals tinted um like a cc cream so that's just you know I'm, i won't be putting on heavy foundation or anything like that i've got my tarte shape tape as always so just a bit of concealer and then I have a clear Anastasia eyebrow gel. And that's really it, and my sponge. So very basic here. There'll be a couple last minute things, obviously deodorant, toothbrushes, toothpaste, um, maybe some dry shampoo, um, then things like a phone charger is important, a long one. Um, if you can, uh, gum or like some sort of lolly. Um, I will bring, be bringing my camera, my uh, battery charger and both my batteries. I have two batteries. So for baby, this involves less, I would say. So I will be bringing nappies. So like I said, Australian hospitals, at least in the public system, do not provide nappies. They will give you a handful to get you started. 
I don't know if you really went in with none, if they would help you out. They probably would. They wouldn't leave you hanging. Um, they would probably expect you to go down to the chemist and buy them yourself. Um, so I will be bringing a whole package of nappies. I've got some this many that are going to go in the bag and then this will just stay in the car so the other um the rest of the bag so these are the lovekins uh newborn nappies so this has 68 nappies <laughs> i probably won't go through them but you'd be surprised um last time with jacob we underpacked and i ended up i think we ended up having to buy some which is ridiculous because I should know better. So these ones are, they're more on the expensive side. They are toxic free, Australian cotton, um, free from chlorine, free from fragrance, toxic dyes. Full disclosure, I use Aldi nappies and wipes for uh, both of my kids and I will use those for the new baby. But I think it's kind of nice the first one package of nappies to give them something a bit higher quality or a bit more organic because their skin is just so new and so fresh so i thought why not i'll i'll treat them and myself to one um nice thing of nappies and then we'll switch to the aldi the aldi stuff is great by the way i'm not saying it's not good it's great i've never had any issues um but it's a lot cheaper so lovekins newborn nappies i've got a whole bag 68 of them then um i also bought two packages big packages of these um water wipes so again these are really i think they're like seven dollars a package which in my opinion is very expensive um so also i just thought uh just nice to have a really pure it's just water in them nothing that's going to harm their skin i thought just for the first little while it would be nice to have that um so i've got two packages of wipes i bet you i bet you i will also run out of wipes so maybe i'll throw one more package of my aldi wipes in just in case because wipes man you go through a lot of wipes and again our hospitals do not uh, provide them then i've got three of these um i use them as burp cloths or anything cloths any sort of mess they're just terry um they're technically i get them from kmart in a big package and they're sold as um like reusable nappies i guess so like old school i guess you'd use that as a nappy i'm not sure um but they're just they're really just little towels and I've found those super handy. So I've got three of those. Swaddles and blankets are kind of the same thing. So I've got um, three, two here and one that I've sort of unrolled, um, jersey swaddles. So they are like a softer, stretchier material. And then I've got three um, muslin swaddles. The muslin ones are from Target. These ones are from Kmart. Um, the hospital does provide um, a swaddle that I've always kept for my kids. It has little teddy bears on it. If you're from the Gold Coast, you know exactly what I mean. So I've got that. This little set that I got recently. This was kind of expensive. I was in like a weird mood, but like look how cute the little bag is. <laughs> and it comes with um lotion there's bubble bath so i really don't need that lotion and wash so there look how cute the packaging is on that i had to have this um i they will provide you with stuff to bathe your baby if you even choose to bathe your baby um i don't always I don't think it's really not necessary um ellie had like a really wild delivery so she was like filthy uh she needed to but i don't remember if we bathed jake or not but i'll bring this just in case and then it actually uh also has a little um nappy cream as well so that's good um because that's the only nappy cream i've got in here 
then what else do we have we have the jelly cat all my babies have had a brand new jelly cat from the time they were at the hospital um so this baby was no different then i've also packed this which i've never i've always had these but i've never um packed one before i thought i don't know if i'm just sitting there and want to be in the moment in terms of writing about like the time in the hospital i can do that or filling out his his or her um weight and that kind of thing um so this baby journal is by write to me and i have the exact same one for all three of my kids and it goes uh it's the first five years so i really love these i think they're such nice quality so I'm bringing that. Then I also got this um, by Hello Fern. It's a wooden announcement plaque. And I had, to be honest, this is not the, my favorite plaque I've ever seen, but I had to find one that didn't say anything about it being a boy or a girl. Then I've got um, dummies or pacifiers. I am a big pacifier fan. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Um, with Ellie, I tried to wait as long as I could because I uh, got a bit freaked out about uh, nipple confusion and things like that. It did not end up ever being an issue for me. With Jacob, we gave him a dummy from the first night in the hospital. So you do you, honey. Don't worry about it. It's fine. This dummy, um, these, I got two of them from Luna's tre Treasures, but they are the Bibs, the Bibs dummies. It's just kind of exciting because I've never had like cool dummies before. Like my other kids just have um, like the Tommy Tippy ones. So this box came with two um, Bibs dummies. I've also ordered one that I hope comes in time, which is the um, Hevia. Hev Havia, I think it's called. It's the one where the whole dummy is um, silicone, like is the rubber. Silicone? Is like the rubber material, like it doesn't have any plastic on it. Um, and Jacob really liked that one, so I sort of forgot and I ordered one of those in case these don't work. I also have a Wubbanub that I will probably bring as well. So dummies. Dummies are an absolute, absolute must. Then we've got mitts, just really simple little mitts. Most of my sleepers have the, the uh, hands that fold over. Um, so I don't, this is just sort of just in case, you know, but most of my, most of the sleepers I have here fold over. Um, this I'll show you. This is sort of my favorite little outfit so maybe might be uh their coming home outfit it's very very basic but i really like it and it actually just came in today so this sleeper is from um cotton on and it's just really really simple has feet has fold over hands uh, it's just a nice white it's organic cotton really soft uh that's in newborn size and then I also got this that just came in today from Best and Less, this beautiful little hat. It's knitted and just like, just feels really like luxurious. And I like the idea of a, you know, a newborn being all in white. So that is my thought maybe for a coming home outfit or like a photo outfit. I've also got two really basic little hats that go with the, um, the mitts, so. Nothing too exciting, but just to keep their head warm. And I've got a bunch of sleepers. I would say, let me look at my list. I've probably got 10. I maybe brought 10 because again, with Jacob, I didn't bring enough. And he ended up having blowouts all the time. And I don't remember what we did, but he ended up just sort of being swaddled and not even in sleepers because we ran out of them. So a few of these are old they were from ellie or from jake so they're not very exciting they're mostly bonds um wonder suits i'll show you the new ones though that i got so i've got four older ones um i got two of the bonds um new wonder suits that are called wonder cool so they're like a um a nice cool fabric like really nice and thin um if you don't know about bonds wonder suits 
look them up. They are everything. I send them to all my friends that have babies at home in Canada and they all fall in love with them. Um, so they have fold over feet, fold over hands, and a zipper that goes both directions for changing. So you will never ever want a sleeper with buttons again after these. So I got two of those. Where's the other one? This one, another one that's white. Again, trying to be gender neutral. I find it tricky. It's hard when you're doing gender neutral um, to not go too boy, I find. Like you tend to go more boy than girl. This one is just from Best and Less. It's terry cloth. I just thought it was really sweet. To be honest, I pretty much packed everything newborn that I have. Um, and I think a couple of these wonder suits are zero to three just in case. But in my opinion, even if your baby is big, they will still fit a newborn size for a little bit, at least for a couple weeks, in my, my opinion. Um, this one's from Cotton On, so another sleeper. It just has little um, rocket ships on it. Also has fold over hands. And then this one I got, because I figured it will work either way, but would be super sweet if it was a girl. It has like these really pretty little flowers. Uh, that one's from Cotton On as well. And then to go with that, just in case, just in case it's a girl, I got a little bow. Oh, could you imagine? If it's a girl, I'm gonna have to go out and do like a whole nother round of shopping, but we'll see. And then the last thing I've got in here is some socks. So again, like the mitts, not totally necessary. Um, all my sleepers have the foot and the hand thing. Also, where we live here is very, very warm, which I know is very different than other places um, where you have to worry about really bundling up your baby. It's not a huge concern here. Um, of course, they need to be warm in the air conditioning and stuff, but it's, it's hot here, guys. It's real hot. So I think that's everything. Look at my mess I've created that I have to pack all back up now. I think that's it. I think we're ready. So we're potentially only a couple days out. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. I'm nervous, but I'm I'm really excited. I can't wait to see who they are and what they look like and all that kind of stuff. So I might have another pregnancy update for you. I might not. This might be the last video you see of me before the baby comes. I'm not sure. Um, I hope to vlog Ellie's birthday party this weekend. We'll see how that goes. But that's it. I can see my battery is dying. So I will let you guys go this is probably a really long video but i hope you've liked it um, it was really fun filming it and like and subscribe and i'll talk to you soon